Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another fantastic episode of Let's Play Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. I'm finally getting the hang of that. Um, I've been struggling with it lately, but I think I'm finally getting the hang of saying that there. Um, and we're starting off this episode here catching a far-fetched. I don't believe in the normal, like, uh, red, blue, and yellow, you can catch Farfetch this early. And Farfetch is a cool Pokemon, not one we'll be adding to the team personally. I don't love him that much, but he is a unique Pokemon, uh, a single-stage Pokemon, which is really interesting for this generation, or all generations in general. I mean, it's very odd that you find a Pokemon that only has one stage of evolution. I think Scyther, Pinsir, Heracross... There's a lot of bug-type Pokemon, but not a lot of flying-type Pokemon. So, an interesting find. Like I said, I just kind of saw him hanging out here, so I figured, hey, we might as well catch him, get some EXP out of it, and we'll get uh, something to add to our Pokedex there. But yeah, just a neat way to start this episode. Um, yeah, this episode is going to be another training episode. I'm hoping by... Next episode, we'll be able to go and get another gym badge. I believe we're on track to do so. I don't capture everything that I saw in this episode in this, like, uh, in this actual episode, you know, like, um, sort of like how I do on the Mario stuff and things like that. Like, if there's something that's, like, really boring and took a ton of time to do, I cut a lot of that out. And this Ace Trainer, which is going to be the the actual thumbnail for the video is a large portion of that reason why is this ace trainer causes me so many problems so i go underground he uses earthquake which causes damage underground as we figured out before i should have thought about that but nevertheless chomper takes all the damage there chomper goes down and out as expected and we don't have a good answer to a rock type pokemon now we once again find ourselves in the predicament where Gun Show is our best option here with Double Kick, which is a very bad predicament to be in. And something tells me if he has one Rock-type Pokemon, he likely has a couple, which is not good news for us. Luckily, I don't think he really has anything that could really... I mean, Stealth Rock, that's going to be more of a pain in the neck than anything. But I don't think he has any Pokemon or any moves that are really going to be super effective against Gun Show. Right, I, I don't foresee him having a fighting type move, so I think we're fine there. Sand attack could likely drag this on quite a while, though, so that's always unfortunate when we see that happening. Um, yeah, never a good... It never gets me... I'm never tickled fancy when I see lowering my accuracy type moves coming out onto the field. But I hope you are all out there having a snazzy week. I know I talked about it in the Mario episode that came out yesterday, but I hope uh, those who were interested also had the opportunity to go and see the new Super Mario Bros. movie. Um, I really cover that in my full thoughts in the, the Mario episode that came out yesterday. So if you're interested in that, go and check it out. The short version of it was, I thought it was okay. And yeah, that's about it. Um, it wasn't anything, it didn't blow my mind. But uh, it wasn't a bad movie, so, you know, that's always a plus. They didn't botch it. They didn't waste everybody's money and time. But I think Taiga would do pretty good here. I think he's a good choice. Two Chains is a terrible choice. I went up to him for a split second, but that would be a really bad option. I think Taiga is going to be a good move. I don't know if ember will be super effective i don't know if the steel typing is even in this game i know fairy typing is so they added some of the the old typings but i don't know if steel type is in this game so i think it's safer to use dig being as we'll have the speed boost there with taiga and let's see how much dig does hopefully more than half that would be my hope okay yeah that's a good chunk it's going to use Thunder Wave, which is going to cause paralysis, which means we're going to hit second this next time around, and we may not even be able to move. So that's pretty unfortunate. It's going to use Light Screen, which should be fine. It's protecting itself a little bit. But I couldn't move, so I think Ember's probably the better move, or Headbutt, yeah. But Thunderbolt might do us in here with its special attack. Oh, Taiga hung on so I wouldn't feel sad. Thank you, Taiga. 
But you just couldn't come through, buddy. It's okay. There's no way he's going to pull through for us again. So I'm going to switch into... Splinter probably wouldn't be a bad option here because he's not going to deal super damage to Splinter. We could always hit with a quick attack if we do got any form of paralysis or anything like that. So I don't think it's going to end all that bad. But yeah, it really felt like when I was recording this, this guy gave me some massive trouble. I don't know if he has a, he does have a third Pokemon, and I don't know what that is at this moment. So it could still end pretty badly. I feel like this guy really ran me through the ringer. So I guess we'll find out here in a second if that holds true. But that's what I recall from playing this episode. I did play this a couple days ago. I wanted to get a little bit more done for the episode. But um, as it turns out here, by the time I finished up dinner and going to the gym and running a little bit, I got home at about 10 o'clock. And I'm now recording this. Yeah, it's six minutes in, but it was a little after 10 by the time I started recording. So... You know, I just, I don't have the same energy level coming into it. I really wanted to record a little bit more and finish up the training, but the next episode will likely be um, light training followed with uh, a gym badge, so that's good news there. But Spoons went down. My man, Spoons. My main man, he's usually my savior. And here I'm going to send in two chains. I need something that has a non-normal type attack. Now, yeah, the rocks are going to do a good amount of damage, but let's use fly. I honestly really love it when two chains uses fly because ironically it has no wings, but it can somehow fly. It is one of the funniest flying type Pokemon, in my opinion. It's going to use dark pulse. I'm going to avoid the attack because I'm up in the sky. And here I come. Boom. With no wings, I'm coming down at you like an atom bomb. What do you have to say about that, Haunter? Nothing, because you're dead. And I think right now we have too many Pokemon that are injured and not able to get EXP, which is my big thing. Like, if they can't get experience points, it's going to hold them back in the long haul. So I think right here, do I go and I give them medicine? I don't think so. This is a bad choice from Average Joe, because I should just go and heal up. I guess maybe just give everybody a little bit. Or just abuse your Hyper Potions, Average Joe. Okay, no. Yep, it looks like I wised up. Because there's really no reason. We can get there without running into any trainers. We can go, heal up, do the things that we need to do. And then come back with a fresh set of eyes. Which is probably what we should be doing. Like, it's the right move. At least in my opinion. But we'll see how much that holds true here moving forward. I mean, obviously it's going to hold true. There's another 10 minutes of this episode. We caught a weeping bell. Yeah, I think we already had one. I just wanted something to send to the professor there. And I think I do walk through that here in a minute. Like what that looks like when we send Pokemon to the professor. I've been doing that periodically throughout the Let's Play because we'll get some rewards when we do it. So here you can see, here's my inbox in total. So I'm going to mark this one as sent to the professor and then we could just continue to select send to the professor. I want to send one Snorlax, but not both of them because Snorlax is a cool Pokemon. I want to keep Haunter and Nidoking King as well. And the three starters because of course, oh, only two starters. We don't have uh, Bulbasaur yet. I completely forgot about that. We never got our Bulbasaur. But, um, yeah, with that being said, you know, when this ends, I really want to, uh, I always do it at the end of all my Let's Plays. I'm like, let's give Average Joe here a team that he could sail into the sunset with and what you would expect if you fought him in the future. So, you know, that will be included at the end of this Let's Play as well, given that um, we have time to do it because I know this Let's Play in particular seems to be really falling behind which could turn into a massive problem later in the game but i don't think it will but it very well could so if we don't have time to do that yeah we should have time to do that that should only take a couple seconds but we'll see we'll see folks like i said everything on the channel is always subject to change when it comes to timing um i just know that like 
next month with us playing Kingdom Hearts 2. I really need to play that Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Otherwise, we're not going to get through it in two months. So it is going to be... I really need to get myself in a position where I am very much ahead of schedule. <laughs> otherwise, we will be in big trouble for that Let's Play. And I think if I recall correctly, we're also going to be playing Soul Silver. And a soda pop there. But uh yeah, that should be fun. I think both of those are pretty fun and straightforward. They're both longer games. So it may even turn into like a really crazy Monday, Wednesday, Friday for um for Kingdom Hearts 2 and then Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday for Soul Silver. Like that might be a possibility here for a while, because those are both pretty long games and uh yeah it, it just it wouldn't surprise me that's all i could really say about it is like if it legitimately takes that amount of time i'm not going to be shocked they're both on the longer side so it is what it is though um you know we always get through these episodes and we always make it through the series if we miss something here or there try to make it up and if things start a week late, they start a week late. What can you say, ladies and gentlemen? The only thing that's really time sensitive is like the, the October stuff because it's October themed. But everything else, pretty flexible on when it comes out and what we do with it. But I guess I might as well just call this a training rambling episode because I don't even know what we're talking about here, folks. And we're halfway through the video, so God knows what we've even covered. But here comes an Eevee. So we typically don't see an Eevee out here. Two chains. I think two chains... I forget if the flying type Pokemon are super effective against normal typing. I want to say that they are, but I really cannot remember. So let's try and use a drill peck and see how that does. Yeah, that was pretty strong, but I don't think it was super effective. So, yeah, I don't think... I, I think it's just fighting type that's super effective against the normal type. But regardless, I mean, we took out that Eevee, no problem. That was a piece of cake there. She's going to send out a Persian. I don't even know who to put up against Persian. I mean, Gun Show with Double Kick is okay, but Double Kick's not really like a strong fighting type move, and we're using it on a non-fighting type Pokemon. We have to get Gun Show a new hat, too. And Gun Show's hat's pretty snazzy, but I don't know if it really fits Gun Show, you know? He needs like a leather jacket or something. With a name like Gun Show. I mean, come on. Double Kick looks like it's going to be pretty reliable here. It looks like a, one more hit with Double Kick and we're going to be pretty in the clear. So, I'm just going to run through that again. It's going to use Nasty Plop. I have no idea what that does. Okay, it's Special Attack Rose. Well, you're about to die, buddy. So, not much use there, Big Cat Man. What do you have to say now? You know what I have to say? Gun show for the win, baby! And Chomper leveled up. My big friend Chomper. But yeah, like I said, you know, a really uneventful episode. Um, just some trainer battles and things like that. You know, nothing too out of the normal. We're just getting through it, folks. What else can I say? And I think Thursday's episode will probably be on the longer side. We'll probably get a ton done. It may even be double the length of this video. But, um... You know, that's just sort of like a... For those of you that have stuck on the channel this long, you know that I'm really big into, like, running and going to the gym and stuff like that. So, that's a... Tuesday, Thursdays have been, like, my relaxed day. So, tomorrow, Tuesday, I'll get to do, like, a really good record session for thursday's video so yeah hopefully i can get like some really good content out there and it looked like i paused here for whatever reason i may actually go and like cut some of this out so hang with me tight here for a minute we'll be right back so we saved you all a couple seconds a couple of seconds have been saved nothing really all that major but yeah like i said um my rest days anymore when i go and to the gym and whatnot have been Tuesday, Thursday. So hopefully Thursday's episode has 
a bit more substance to it, you know, just a bit more there that we could cover, we could get uh, an actual, like, really solid episode in with some training and a uh, gym badge and all that good stuff, but that's at least my hope as of right now. Will that actually occur? I really hope so. Um, yeah, that's really all I could say about it at this point. In the Mario series, if you didn't check out that video once again, go and check out Monday's video. Monday's video was actually pretty awesome. We covered a lot of ground, got a lot more star coins than I was expecting to get. So if you like Mario 64 or Mario in general, that's a really fun one to check out. I had a really good time with this week's Monday episode. I don't know if I could say the same for Friday's episode because I haven't recorded it yet. Like I said, uh, tomorrow is really recording the Pokemon stuff and then Thursday will be recording all the Mario stuff. And then hopefully, by the time this weekend comes, I have a good opportunity to get a lot of recordings done ahead of time. But you know how that always goes. Anytime I say that, I don't post a video on a Monday or a Friday and have to make it up on a weekend, so. We're just hoping that's not the case over here. Because when it is, you guys get grindy videos like this one. Hope you all don't mind. <laughs> But let's see what we do here. We go into the bag. We go into the medicine pocket. I don't think anybody needs a revive. You can see I picked up a bunch of items when we were back there. When I went and healed up. So I thought that would be pretty important. I don't think two chains really needs anything. I think I'd be overly generous if I gave two chains anything at this point in time. But I think we have time for maybe like one to two more battles. That might be like the max here. But I don't know if we're going to do much outside of that. Like I said, it really is a, a trainer-heavy episode. You know, there's not, like, a whole ton going on that I would consider, like, remarkable. But it is fun when we get to do stuff like this, too, like a, a laid-back episode. I know the the last episode like that was like that as well. So I normally don't like to do them back-to-back -back like this, but at the same point in time, it... This is a point in the game where training is a necessity. There is a lot of training that is going on at this point in the game, so. You know, we're going to have a few grindy episodes here. Hopefully it just sticks to these two, and then maybe some later at the end of the series. But hopefully by that point in time, I'm scheduled out far enough that we could have multiple episodes per week, so. The Tuesday, Thursday episodes will be more prevalent, and then maybe like Monday and Wednesday will be more like trainee, so. But we'll see it when we get there. But with that being said here, ladies and gentlemen, we are approaching about the two minute mark before the wrap up, so I'm gonna do my outro as per usual. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to like, comment, and even consider subscribing. All that stuff is free on your end and is greatly motivational on my end to continue to make videos just like this in the near future and maybe even better than this video in the near future. We'll be playing this series on Tuesdays and Thursdays and we also have a Let's Go series for Super Mario 64 that is airing on Monday and Fridays as well. Like I said, some of that is tentative but I can promise if we do miss a day here or there, we usually 99% of the time, make it up on a weekend episode. So, if you're interested in those two Let's Plays, you know, stay tuned on the channel there. And the future ones, like I said, we're going to be playing Pokemon Soul Silver next. And we're also going to be playing Kingdom Hearts 2, which is one of my favorite games of all time. So there should be some awesome commentary on there. I'm very, very familiar with the game, so we don't have to go into, like, granular detail of every single event but i'm gonna try and capture the highlights of every single world that we go to and major plot elements and all that stuff and at some point in time i'll do like a grand kingdom hearts video before we play through kingdom hearts 3 to fill everybody in because i don't want to play every subset of every game i probably will at some point but just not in the near future but with that being said ladies and gentlemen i hope you all had a snazzy week up until this point and i hope you all have an even snazzier week moving forward here from this Tuesday. Until next time, everybody take it easy, and we will see you all right back here on the next one. Watch me dominate this goal bat. Yeah, get it, buddy. Spoons for the win, baby!